Hey YouTube, it's Nayam Nappy and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we're going to be talking about an old African traditional herb called Mbunu. Now recently this herb has a sudden resurgence and you may be wondering what makes this herb so unique. Now this herb secretes a natural saponin that makes it a very very gentle cleanser but also a nice conditioner with detangling properties. So I've seen some girls use this as a shampoo, as a conditioner, and as a gel. So today I kind of want to use it as like a shampoo detangler. And then if I really loved it, try it again in another video, maybe as a conditioner or a leave-on, or you know, mix up something special for you guys like I always like to do. Now some of the other properties of this herb is that it's said to give your hair a soft and beautiful sheen and help prevent a dry scalp, which we talked about is really, really important right now, especially in this dry weather, and also to help fight hair fall and encourage hair growth. Like a lot of these herbs it has a lot of, lot of benefits and I'll tell you more about it while we mix this for our hair. So let's get started. So I'm going to begin with the Mbunu leaves. Now you can either have the leaf or the powder, but I chose the leaves and this is what it looks like. There's like flowers and leaves within this mixture here. I'm going to follow exactly like the package says, one tablespoon of Mbunu leaves with one liter of hot water. So I'm going to just pour that in and let that sit for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to stir to agitate the leaves to help them release their mucilage so I can get that nice thick coating that I'm looking for and also release some of those opponents that help to provide antibacterial and antifungal properties that will help heal your dry scalp. Now I actually let this recipe sit much longer than I intended because I had to run out and run an errand so the time was about an hour from when I added the hot water in to use on my hair. Notice how the mixture is nice and slimy and gooey and this means that the mixture is ready for use. Okay so I actually poured half of the container into a bottle back here. I'm going to try and use this up first and then use the bottle afterwards. Um, since this has a high water content I'm going to just um, use this on my dry hair. And when I say dry, I just mean it is moisturized, but it's not wet from like going under the shower as I normally would if I were shampooing my hair. But I'm really trying to test to see how much slip and how cleansing this will be. Um, I'm not sure next time if I will use as much water as I did with this one. Um, I followed the directions exactly as they stated. It was one tablespoon to one liter of water. And again, just to show you guys some of the, the texture it has, some, some good slip to it. I will, I will say I can feel that. Um, I believe if I use less, less water, it'd probably have even more slip. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna play around with the recipe over time to see if I can get it perfect, but this is my first time using it. So let's get started. So I'm gonna begin in the back in small sections. I'm really gonna try and get my hair um, initially just like wet and hydrated from this um, dry state and then continue adding it more on my ends and then focusing it a lot on my roots because y'all this has a lot of other benefits that I'll tell you about. But at first I just want you guys to notice that you can start to really see the mucilage from the plant and the coating starts to get a little bit thicker as I continue to apply it to my hair. Now this mucilage is going to give me some slip and aid in detangling. Notice the ease and slip I get while finger detangling. Now I believe if you use a comb with this, it would also work very effectively. Um, I don't use a comb every wash day and this is not my week so I won't be doing so. But you can see how easily I, my fingers can glide around the strands of my hair. So I wanted to do a little bit more research to learn about some of the benefits of Mbunu because, because it's not widely known in the States but has a number of uses. Now, actually, Ambunu is also referred to as false sesame because it has many of the similar properties as sesame seeds. And in fact, when the oil is strained from the seed, it almost has the identical characteristics of those of sesame oil. Now, the leaves have been dried and added water to, kind of how we use for this mask to help treat conjunctivitis. It is also a great emollient and lubricant. The leaves are also good antioxidants have anti-inflammatory and antihypertensive properties. This herb also contains antiviral properties and the seed oil is useful as an insecticide. 
Some of the other benefits is that it helps to make your hair soft and shiny and to define curls. And I can really testify this um, as I'm noticing my hair becoming very hydrated and my curls are popping. <laughs> All right, we're coming to the end of the mixture and I'm noticing that the mucilage is is becoming more and thicker. And I would say probably because the leaves are still on the bottom I'm, because I'm agitating it by constantly putting my hand into the mixture and applying it to my hair. That thick coating though is adding a really, really nice hydrating layer to the top of my hair. And I'm really loving the results so far. Um, I really can tell my hair is soaking the product in deep into my hair strands. And actually what I'm gonna do is quickly do this other side here but I'm gonna use the bottle and pour the remaining mixture over deep into my roots and give myself a nice and good massage. Cause y'all, if I were to use a shampoo, I would always make sure I focus on my roots as much as I do on the length of my hair to make sure my hair gets nice and clean. All right, so you can rinse this off right away, but I'm probably gonna leave this on for a little while um, while I go run some errands and then come off after I rinse this off. All right, so I just hopped out of the shower and y'all, can you see this? I did not deep condition my hair afterwards. I just rinsed it out. Look at these curls. My hair is very light, but clean. Um, I'm gonna deep condition my hair because I didn't do so last week and I really wanna make sure I stay on my regimen as I always tell you guys to stay on your regimen. But I will say that my hair feels really nice. I'm really excited to try Mbunu in my regimen more frequently. Um, I actually left it on for about an hour just because I was like running errands. Um, you, it says to massage it in your hair and then rinse right out. But you know, life happens, whatever. But, but it was really a nice, like conditioning treatment i felt like uh, my hair feels clean um i noticed also when i was like rinsing out um the product i had a little bit of a foaming effect and i'm not sure if that's some of the product that i had on my hair rinsing out as well or that was just the mbunu but um i'm very very pleased with my results um this is what i want when i am looking for a nice cleanser you know, something conditioning and both cleansing. I wanna show you guys my scalp too. Always a good indicator of whether or not um, the product works for you is to see how well your scalp feels afterwards and also the following days after using this treatment. If you guys would like me to do a like, kind of like leave in conditioner slash gel with the Mbunu, leave a comment down below and I'll do one for you guys for next week. But that's it for this week's Tip Tuesday. I'll see you next time. Bye.